In this video, we will create a production ready Docker container for an Angular app. Then we will push this container to AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. So let's start. First, I'll create a Docker file. Make sure also to have uh, installed Docker in your machine. So we need the environment here. So we need the node environment and the version that I will put here is 15.4. And I'll name it as build. So we will do a multi-stage Docker build. I will explain that later. Uh, first, let's focus from this uh, node, this part here. We want to build our app. Let's start with the working directory. You can name it whatever you want. I will call it app. Then we'll copy package.json to the working directory. So I will add also a star here. So this will copy package.json and also package log.json. This dot means this working directory. So once we add those files there, we run npm install. And uh, since we are using a node uh, container, we have npm available. So after we install it, then uh, we need to build it to production. So before I run anything here, I, will, I want to make a change. Uh, we have ng build here in our scripts, but uh, if we want to build to production, we have to add prod here. So uh, what I will do is I will add a new script prod and this will be ng build prod like this. So this will be easier and uh, now here I will run the command npm run prod. So this will build our app to production. So I will run that command here also. And let's see what files it does generate. So now we will uh, learn why I named it like this. Because uh, once we run uh, npm run prod, it will uh, create some files here and we don't need uh, these files anymore. We need only the distribution folder. So uh, we created the build. So not sure why my app doesn't uh, get the files. Uh, doesn't matter. So let's add a new from here. And this time we won't have node, but I will add nginx and the version will be 1.19. So uh, here we want to add node. We will simply serve the HTML files, which uh, I need to refresh. Not sure why they reload. So we have the distribution folder here and we can see we have index HTML and these files. So it's located in the distribution folder Angular Docker. This is the name of my project, by the way. You can name your project uh, whatever. So now we are at Nginx. Uh, we need also a directory here, Nginx. And I will add here a file nginx.conf. Here I will paste this nginx code. So I will provide this code uh, in the description of this video. And uh, let's go to the Docker file. I will copy, copy here nginx, nginx.conf, and we'll copy that uh, to etc. nginx, nginx dot conf so uh, dot here so we have copied that file in this other container and uh, now we will use this build here so 
as I said before, we don't need the, these files anymore. We need only the distribution folder since it will serve the index.html file with this JavaScript built files. So for that, we will copy from build, we'll copy, we have the working directory is up here. So from up, dist, and the dist has another folder here, which is angular docker in my case, angular docker. And uh, we'll copy that to, so I'll add a slash just in case, to user share nginx html. So this way, uh, this was a bigger container since it had not modules and all these files, but this one has only HTML and JavaScript files. So it's smaller container is running on Nginx, which is serving only this HTML file. And we need uh, this Nginx. We need it because uh, when we go to uh, a specific URL, we want to redirect all of them to the index.html. So this is this location. Otherwise, we will get an error. So uh, this is the Docker file. And now let's run it. So to run this Docker file, write Docker build. Uh, we need to specify a name for this uh, Docker file for this Docker container. I will specify it to, na to app, but you can name it whatever you want. And we need to build uh, this Docker file. So we have to add it as a dot here. So now it's building. Let's wait till it's completed. So it failed uh, because uh, I forgot one line here between uh, npm install and npm run prod which is to copy all the files to the working directory. So my bad there. So this will copy all these files to this uh, working directory. And then we need to build to production. So now that we fix the problem, let's run it again. So now it was uh, built successfully. And uh, now this container is ready to be pushed to the cloud. But first, let's see it on our browser. So to see it on our browser, we have to run the container. So docker run, we need to specify the port. So uh, the port inside the container is 80. In our local host, we can put whatever port you want. So I will put 8888. So and then we need the name of our container, which we named it up. So that's it. If we run this and uh, go to our browser, let's go to localhost 8888 and we'll see the Angular app running. So uh, this was our container that was built. Now let's push this container to the cloud and I will close this IDE because we won't use it anymore. So I'm logged into my Google Cloud platform now and uh, we, will, we will use two uh, services, container registry and cloud run. So let's go to the container registry. And uh, before adding uh, anything here, we need uh, to install a Google Cloud SDK. So make sure to download the right installer. For macOS, you download it here. Also for Windows and Linux. And also make sure to add it to your path. Once it is completed, you can use G Cloud. So uh, I ho already have uh, my G Cloud configured. And now uh, let's uh, uh, log in first. So in order to push containers to the Google Cloud registry, we have to be logged in first. So G Cloud auth login. So uh, this uh, will uh, connect with our Google Cloud account. And uh, we will allow everything. And uh, now we are logged in. If we go to our uh, terminal, we will see this. So I'll clear now. And uh, now we can uh, push our 
image to the Docker uh, registry, to the container registry, sorry. So first we have to tag the image. So Docker tag, the name of the image is app and uh, we will tag it to Google Cloud Registry. So gcr.io slash we need the project name. So if we go to our cloud platform, click uh, our project here and uh, this is my project name. So I'll copy this ID here and uh, I'll add it here. So this is our project ID and then uh, we need the name of uh, our container. So this should be the same with uh, the last one. I tagged this and then we need to push it. So I'll remove this and we'll push it. And this will push the container to our Google Cloud platform. So let's wait till it's completed. So the image is pushed. Now uh, we will see the image here. So in the container registry, we have our app image. And uh, let's go here and let's copy the URL. So I'll copy the URL here because uh, we will need it. And uh, let's go now to the cloud run. So here we need to create a service. We need a service name. I'll call it app. Uh, the region, you can select your own region. Uh, we need the container image URL. So here we can select it directly. And this is the container, the last container that we pushed. So I'll select this. And this was uh, our container. We can add some advanced settings here, like variable secrets, etc. But the only thing that we will change is uh, the port. So our container port is 80. So I'll put 80 here. And we don't need to change anything else there. Next. So uh, we need to allow an uh, unauthenticated invocations. So this is public. And that's it. So let's create this. And let's wait till it's completed. So it should be fast. So it is completed. Not sure why I made a mistake here. Uh, the port was 76 here. It should be 80. And uh, we have uh, also a URL here. If we go to the URL, we will see our app deployed. So it was this simple. This is how we deploy an app to the Google Cloud Run. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.